the latest handbag in my handbag collection. I have another amazing discount code for 10% off. An exciting new pair of boots, the row zip on boot. Chiquito, chiquito, le noir. <laughs> Absolutely butchering that. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little helper with me because he's not been feeling his best lately. So you're here with mummy when she films. But I'm gonna be sharing my best designer purchases from the past year in 2021. I also have luxury must-haves for your wardrobe as well as an exciting new pair of boots, the row zip on boots. I will be styling those bad boys up for you as well so I'll leave a little timing on screen here if you want to skip forward to the styling part of this video for those boots. Otherwise let's get straight into it and talk you through my best luxury purchases of 2021. My first best purchase of 2021 was my New Balance 550 trainers. Now this is a collab with Ame Leondor. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, let me know if I'm not. But the difference with the special collaboration here is that they have all leather around the toe of the shoe. Uh, the standard 550s have suede on the front. So I just thought this was more of a cleaner, minimal approach to a kind of court basketball shoe. And I managed to find and get my hands on these at Far Fetch. So now is the perfect time to let you guys know that today is another video in collaboration with Farfetch. I have another amazing discount code for 10% off. I will leave it on the screen, also in the description box below with all the details about how to use my 10% discount code at Farfetch. Now I managed to find these bad boys on Farfetch when they're quite hard to come by. They have so many actually in stock on the men's page, so if you have larger feet like me, you're in luck. They're super comfortable. I would say maybe size down half a size. I didn't, they still fit, but they maybe feel a little bit loose. If you were wanting a separate review on the New Balance 550s, because I know you guys love New Balance styling videos, let me know and I'll definitely put one together for these bad boys. I have a couple of handbags to share today in this video, but I would say my favorite handbag purchase of 2021 has been my Jacques Mousse Le Chiqui Chiquito, Chiquito Le Noir. <laughs> absolutely butchering that uh, but it is a beautiful boxy little mini handbag as you can see from the size of my hand although I have quite big hands the size of this bag but it does fit in my iPhone 11 Pro it fits in my keys it fits in a lipstick and a concealer and my card because I don't tend to normally take a full purse out with me so pretty much ticks the box for what I wanted. I wanted a small bag after giving birth to my son Roman uh, that I could wear a crossbody, still look stylish and cute with my outfits while lugging around a big baby bag. So literally just my own bag for putting in my phone and my card and my keys. And it's actually been more wearable than I thought it would. I wear it with casual outfits. I've used it when we've been out for dinners because it's really nice as a top handle bag. It has a detachable strap here which you can take on or take off and you can wear it across the body or on the shoulder. It is a soft leather, but it's actually worn, worn really well, sorry. I don't really think that I've scratched it. I've maybe got a little bit of foundation fingers on it, but the leather still looks as good as when I first got this bag. I just love the structure of it. And I actually discovered Jacquemus as a brand on Farfetch. So they have so many amazing brands. If you literally just go to the brand list A to Z, you will see how many brands that they stock. And Jacquemus is one of them. And I have literally fallen in love with that designer through Farfetch. Moving on to some clothing favourites, and I'll make sure that I do cutaways so you can actually see what these look like when they're worn on me. I have a totem quilted coat. Now, I wanted this coat. It's the Annecy quilted coat, I believe. I wanted to get my hands on this last year, and I missed out on it. And then, again, Farfetch have it in stock with loads of amazing other items from totem, which is a new designer that I also discovered via Farfetch. And I absolutely love this coat. It's really an elevated, chic take on a puffer jacket. It's more elegant and timeless. I feel you could wear this to work, you could wear this for drinks out, you can wear this dressed down, you can wear this so many different ways and I know that I already have already from walking the dog, for going out for drinks, for you know just putting it on and just feeling so put together, just chucking it on over anything that I'm wearing underneath. It has a really nice big collar some side vents that move and make really nice kind of movement and silhouette when you're walking. And what also drew me to this jacket is there's only one popper on it, so it's quite discreet, which I think, again, makes this coat look as expensive 
as it is. It is expensive for a puff coat, but if you're gonna get your wear out of it, like I know I will, it's so practical, it's a timeless staple. It really, I think, is worth the investment and it is surprisingly warm as well. Um, so absolutely love this coat already worn it so much and I know I'm going to keep wearing it in winter. I just wear either like a fleece or a gilet underneath as an extra layer or some good old thermals. While we are talking about Totem, also from Totem, I have the Hype leggings and they are hyped for a reason. Again, expensive for a pair of leggings are £130. I know we can get cheaper for a pair of leggings but you will never have tried a pair of leggings like these on before. I can tell you that. They are one, so comfortable, two, they have loads of stretch and also hold their shape, three, they don't fall down, four, they are flattering on your bottom so you don't have to always wear jumpers and tops that cover your bum, five, I'm on five or four, uh, they are so versatile from day wear to evening wear, uh, they even have this really nice little zip design at the bottom uh, which you can zip to kind of show a little bit of ankle so then it sits really nicely over say loafers or heels or trainers. Um, I want to buy myself another pair so I have a pair for wearing out nicely and then I have a pair also for wearing with Roman and bow and even just for dog walking and things like that. I know it's a bit bougie, £130 for some dog walking leggings but so comfortable and uh, not see-through like I said, actually quite warm and just everything that you want in a pair of leggings. The second handbag purchase I have to share is my Coach Tabby. Now I wanted this handbag for a while because I just loved the kind of 90s baguette bag handbag style that this bag is and it's also a great introductory designer handbag or if you want to buy a designer handbag that is under £400. I think this comes in at the £390 mark. But I was missing a white handbag in my wardrobe. I always feel like when spending on luxury and designer pieces it's really important to look at your wardrobe, at the colour palettes that you already have and maybe areas where you're missing items so you know that when you spend your money that you're going to get the wear out of them. And I've worn this quite a lot in summer but I'm actually going to get quite more wear out of it in winter I think. I feel like White's really nice in winter. I know everyone's not into it, but obviously winter whites. Now I've gone a little bit darker with my hair as well. I feel like white pops a bit more and doesn't drain, drain, like drain me out too much, would that be the word? Uh, but I just love this. The fact it's pebbled leather as well, I mean, it's really hard wearing. It's gonna be quite hard to scratch this when spending money on handbags. I do normally also look to have a pebbled or textured leather where I can. Inside as well is this beautiful suede such an amazing bag, got loads of compartments, lots of storage, there's a back pocket, we've got this little handle here so you can wear it over your shoulder which clips off so you could also use it as like an envelope clutch if you wanted to and then it also comes with another strap which you can wear across body or on your shoulder, um, so versatile, such a great bag, really good price point. Uh, the hardware as well is more kind of like a worn brass effect so I feel that as well is going to show scratches less as well so it's going to it's going to keep its shape and its quality for longer and such a beautiful bag uh, also available in loads of different colours on Farfetch and can't recommend this bag highly enough as well it actually featured in my summer handbag video with my Jacquemus bag so I'll leave that video linked down below if you wanted to go and check that out I could not do this video without resharing my Balenciaga Strike military boots. I have a separate video on these bad boys that I'll leave linked down below uh, with styling and comparison against the Dr. Martins, which is why I wanted to add these boots to my footwear collection. I wanted a chunky military style boot like the Dr. Martins that was a little bit more I'm going to say elevated again, but a little bit more elevated because it's all just fully black, really chic, again a timeless piece, something that I know I will get loads of wear out of, so that's another tip with buying luxury, say for example you have an item in your wardrobe that you have so much wear out of and you know it's obviously worth spending money on, then you know that you will not be wasting your pennies investing in a higher end version of that item. Now these are so comfortable, definitely size down a full size in these if you're interested if you're interested in these bad boys. I have a size seven and I was so surprised that my feet fit in a size seven because I'm always a size eight and sometimes some brands size eights are small. So definitely 100% size down. I've worn these for walking around all day and they've never rubbed once which is what I predicted in that video which I'll leave linked for you. The leather again is really hard wearing. I mean they're a little bit dirty because I wore them out in the snow the other day, kept my feet dry, kept my feet warm with some thick socks. Also we have a very excitable five, six month old 
Whip It Poppy and we went to a food market and he wants to say hello to everyone and everything and he was literally walking all over my shoes and I was thinking oh no they're gonna get ruined but he actually did not scratch them once so again really nice hard wearing leather they're gonna be really easy to give a little wipe down which I probably should have done before this video but gonna get loads of wear out of them in winter as well because they've got this really thick chunky cleated sole which is gonna be great for grip Moving on to another brand that I discovered on Farfetch is Alex NYC and I have an amazing bodysuit. Now they do basics but with a twist so of course a bodysuit is a great staple in your wardrobe any time of year, great for layering especially in winter but what I loved about this one you'll see in the cutaways is it has cut out bits and cut out details so it's a very sexy bodysuit you can wear it casual but you can also wear it out for dinner and drinks like my going out looks are always kind of casual going out looks they're never like bandage dressed big old heels because that just isn't me i like to be comfortable i like things to be wearable and also versatile in my wardrobe to wear them for different occasions has a thong bottom which is something i always champion in a bodysuit because then you don't get any visible lines underneath the clothing that you're wearing really soft material and it's washed well it is on the pricier side for a bodysuit but i think so worth it it'll get pulled out season upon season and i already have some more alex nyc pieces on my wish list because i've fallen in love with the brand after discovering them at my farfetch I have another handbag. This is the latest handbag in my handbag collection and what a purchase to end 2021 on. So I may not have had this for a long time but it's been on my wish list for a long time so of course it's going to be in my rundown of my best designer purchases in 2021 and a luxury item I think everyone should have in their wardrobe is a Chloe handbag. I think Chloe handbags are so classic, such beautiful uh, understated styles. You can tell it's a Chloe handbag but it's not like flashy in your face logo logo. Um, something that I'm still going to be using in 10-20 years time. I really wanted a kind of saddle horse bit style handbag. They're really popular at the moment but I wanted one with an across the body strap which is why I went for the Chloe test which like I said has actually been on my wish list for a while. Loved this colour, it's a brand new colour, it's called Autumnal Brown. It's not like anything else I have in my wardrobe. I have a dark brown bag but not a lighter colour and I thought it would just pair really nicely with blacks, with browns, with neutrals, with my winter whites. It's going to just work so perfectly and I'm going to get lots of wear out of it. Love the versatility with the straps. It's actually got quite a lot of space on the inside as well um, and a great everyday bag or even dressing up for the evening because I would just detach this strap and just use the little strap and have it over my shoulder and I think it's just timeless, effortless, elegant absolutely obsessed so if you'd like a separate video on this let me know i can know what's in my bag when i've had a little bit more use out of it such a stunning handbag and farfetch have an amazing collection of chloe bags and lots of different colors of the chloe tess handbag as well i've just moved slightly because the sun is beaming in so hopefully that did of course it's going to be in my rundown of my best designer purchases in 2021 and a luxury item i think everyone should have in their wardrobe is a Chloe handbag. I think Chloe handbags are so classic, such beautiful uh, understated styles. You can tell it's a Chloe handbag but it's not like flashy in your face logo logo. Um, something that I'm still going to be using in 10-20 years time. I really wanted a kind of saddle horse bit style handbag. They're really popular at the moment but I wanted one with an across the body strap which is why I went for the Chloe test which like I said has actually been on my wish list for a while. Loved this colour. It's a brand new colour. It's called Autumnal Brown. It's not like anything else I have in my wardrobe. I have a dark brown bag but not a lighter colour and I thought it would just pair really nicely with blacks, with browns, with neutrals, with my winter whites. It's going to just work so perfectly and I'm going to get lots of wear out of it. Love the versatility with the straps. It's actually got quite a lot of space on the inside as well um, and a great everyday bag or even dressing up for the evening because I would just detach this strap and just use the little strap and have it over my shoulder and I think it's just timeless, effortless, elegant absolutely obsessed so if you'd like a separate video on this 
let me know. I can know what's in my bag when I've had a little bit more use out of it. Just moved position slightly because the sun was literally beaming in, so I hope it didn't ruin the last kind of shot of my best designer purchases of 2021. But if you skipped forward to see the row boots, I will just let you know of my 10% farfetch discount code in case you missed it and all the details will be down in the description box below if you would like to go and use my 10% discount at farfetch now i have my row boots i'm so excited to share them with you these boots have been on my wish list since last year i absolutely love everything the row does but i haven't actually took the plunge and purchased anything from them yet and i'm so excited to share boots with you so <laughs> it came in this beautiful dust bag a very minimal box just like the brand and then we have a dust bag which says the row and it actually feels like really nice soft cotton which would be great for storing your boots in especially if you're traveling or taking them anywhere with you and these bad boys came all the way from Italy they literally came within one or two days so again that just shows how good the delivery is with the far fetch and these are said the row zip boots. I went for the brown suede because I really wanted some brown boots to switch things up in my wardrobe. All my boots are basically black and I have a lot more neutrals in my wardrobe now. I also wanted some brown boots to go with my brown handbags um, and these are just absolute perfection. Really gorgeous suede and a beautiful zip down the front and a really thick chunky sole. Uh, they feel a little bit heavy but they are actually super comfortable when i first put my foot in them the leather is so soft and buttery it literally melts and molds to your feet i could wear these without socks and they wouldn't rub um, they look rather narrow and thin but they're actually not uh, i have a size 41 and they fit my size 8 feet perfectly absolutely beautiful stunning boots i can't wait to wear them and style them up for you so now i'm going to show you ways that i'll be wearing the row zip boots in winter with a few little outfits styling items in my wardrobe and you'll see a few of the pieces that i mentioned as my best designer purchases for 2021 First outfit, I am wearing the Alex NYC cutout bodysuit with a pair of leather trousers, my gorgeous new boots, and then to tie in the brown, I have popped over a brown oversized blazer. This one is from a brand called Riona. It's very much like the Frankie Shop blazer though, which the Frankie Shop is also stocked on Farfetch. And over the top, I have chucked my Jacquemus Le Chiquito bag. This is how I like to wear a crossbody hands free. You can also see my little cheeky thumb holes sticking out. So this is outfit number one um, I would wear this to nip down to the pub I'd even wear this to like go for lunch uh, go for some like casual drinks or just a little bit of shopping uh, if going into town then for more of a dressy look so this is something I would wear in the evening for dinner and drinks like I said before when I do dressy I don't really go glam dressy I'm more kind of dressed up casual pieces so I have a really nice slip dress on which has got this cut out detail which just Adds a little bit of interest to the look. I've gone all black, so I've paired over my oversized acne biker jacket. I feel it gives a bit of a grunge vibe. I have the boots on underneath, which are so comfortable. Literally, I could wear these all night if I was going out, out. And then I have paired my new Chloe bag with this to show you how it works with a black outfit. So you can see the pop of the brown against the black. Just adds a little bit of dimension and interest rather than me having a black handbag and being a completely all black outfit. I was into my winter white, so to make it a little bit more festive, I've gone for like a fair owl cream jumper, cream leather trousers again. I do wish I had white jeans that fit, that were cropped, to show you how I would style them with these boots, because that's literally what I'm on the hunt for, decent white jeans that fit straight leg cropped like this. So same effect, but white jeans. Let me know if you've got any recommendations. A white overcoat, and then I've added in my coach bag. So love the kind of tones all together of course browns go perfectly with whites and creams so i feel like it just elevates the look rather than pairing with a pair of black boots which is a little bit expected the brown is something a little bit different and it's just really tonal i feel like it elevates my leg a little bit more um, and works really well with the lighter accessories as well another way of styling that i had in mind when i pictured these boots was wearing them with shorts and i have a beautiful leather pair of shorts from Isabel Moron I actually picked up from a recent trip to Vista Village which is also where I got my Burberry trench but they do stock Burberry on Farfetch as well and you can use my 10% discount code I feel like their trench coats are timeless they are an investment piece but if trench coat is something that's a staple in your wardrobe then literally this is going to be 
in my wardrobe forever, no reason to get rid of it. I did size up actually, I'm wearing a size 12 because I prefer an oversized fit and you can adjust it and play around with it at the back. So absolutely love it, it's a little bit of a different colour in a khaki green and I feel it works really well with blacks, creams, browns, we've obviously got the brown check on the inside, the brown of my boots, so this is a way that I'd have been wearing them with tights and leather shorts, but I do need to get some tights that are more opaque than this if opaques a see-through one, or maybe like a brownie hue of tights. So I need to do some hunting for some tights on the high street. Uh, but this is literally how I would pair and envision the outfit. So those have been my luxury fashion must-haves, best designer purchases of the past year. Again, another amazing 10% discount code, yes baby, for Far Fetch. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know in the comments below, give it a little cheeky thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and if there's any items you want separate videos on, let me know and I can of course create content around them for you. And any questions, of course, let me know in the comments below and we will see you soon. Bye!